Hey guys, we finally got our defender. Um, not sure I'm happy about it though. Um, okay, it's good that we finally got him. Uh, we finally got Smalling. He hasn't signed or done his medical or anything yet. I don't think. I haven't been on Instagram a lot because I've been at uni. But um, anyways, he's signing and we got him. And I guess it's better late than never. Um, but I thought there were better options. I think Lovren is probably a better player. However, he's so injury prone. Um, so, therefore, I'm happier about Smalling. Because I feel like we'll get more games out of him. Rogani would also have been pretty good. But the thing is, he isn't the type of player we need. He isn't strong. He isn't fast. He isn't experienced. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, and those are the main criteria we need for a defender a good leader that is strong and fast and Rugani isn't any of that he is very good at reading the game and all that but he isn't the best physical player and he's very he's still quite young um i know smalling has been getting a lot of shit recently but i don't know if he's ma been made like kind of i feel like all united players have been performing very badly recently and also he's been made kind of like fun of like and i'm not sure why because whenever i've seen him he's been good i have a very close friend who is a big manchester united fan so he told me a bit about him and he said he is very strong fast um he seems to be decent on the ball um maybe not the best leader and a bit inconsistent i've been watching some games as i, as I said but not recently really haven't had time to watch any today because usually I watch two games of the players that we bought, but I'm not sure when I will have time to do this. Um, so yeah, as I said, he's strong and fast, which is exactly what we need because we'll play with a high, high, line, high defensive line, uh, and for that we need a, a fast player who can recover runners in behind. Um, I also like that he's strong because well. It's always good. Um, he's quite experienced. The problem is he doesn't speak the language and he's never been outside of England, which could be a problem and I'm, I'm a bit worried about that. But I hope he can adapt. But yeah, my biggest worries are his inconsistency and his lack of no from all other cultures than the English one, I guess. Other footballing cultures. Um... But yeah, so I'm I'm a bit torn on this one. I thought we need there were be better options, especially Alderweireld, but I don't think we could afford him. And I don't know. I think Smalling is fine, but I hope he can be consistent and he he doesn't have these ups and downs. We only pay three million for the loan, which is not a lot. I don't know what his salary is, but I hope it's not too much. He usually is, but I hope not. Um, and we won't have him permanently, so it's fine that he is a bit... Actually, it's a good thing that he's older, because that means we we get more experience out of him. Um, but yeah, I, uh, I think he will fit great in the team, and he is exactly the type of player we need. I'm just worried that he isn't good enough quality-wise. Don't know how, how good he is at intercepting. From what I've seen, he is very... He doesn't commit too much and he's not get, he doesn't get dribbled past too much. I'm not sure about that. I've only seen some videos. Seems to be good at aggressively winning the ball back as well, which is exactly what we need because we are going to play with a high defensive line as I said and high pressure. Um very good on the ball. He scored some has great first touch and like decent dribbling. Uh, so I don't think he'll lose the ball too much, which is very important as well as I said. Because we play an attacking brand of football. But yeah. Um, I think that's pretty much where I'm at. I, I like that we got the def got him in now. Maybe he can even be ready for the derby. Uh, at least on the bench. Uh, with probably Mancini and Fazio starting. I hope. But yeah. I'm not 100% sure about these, this deal. I haven't seen enough. 
uh, I think we'll just have to wait and see and hope for the best, really. I mean, Fonseca and Petraki are good, but the thing is, this one came out of the blue, so I'm guessing they had to act quite quickly. And that's a bit of a worry as well. Mm, but yeah, can you guys who have actually seen him play a lot, let me know if, if there are any of you. Because I know a lot of people bash on him and say like, yeah, he, he's, he's so bad, you know, just because he's become a meme. But I feel like that's very unfair because whenever I've seen him, he's been really, really good. On SofaScore, he has this almost a 7.0 average rating. Uh, or like ha had a 6.8 last year and the year before he had like a 6.10, a 7.10. And that's very good. That's a good SofaScore rating. And SofaScore is usually quite accurate. Not super accurate, but quite accurate. So... I don't know, I don't think we should hate on him too much. I think we should wait to judge him until he has started playing. And if he does make a lot of mistakes, then fine, we can start hating on him. But if he doesn't, I'm happy. So yeah, that was pretty much it for this video. Uh, we've gotten in another signing, now we just need one or two more. Mainly a left winger, and if Schick leaves, we need to get in a striker, which will probably be Kalinic. Which I will make a video on, but I'm not super happy about that one. Um, so yeah, that's that's pretty much what I'm thinking. I will try to drop my theory up preview. Uh, I haven't had time to, to finish it. I just have a few teams left. But I just haven't had time. Been so busy studying. Actually should be studying now. So, you know... I hope to be able to release it this weekend, but I'm not sure about that one. But yeah, I'll, I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't know when it will be. Hopefully this weekend. It will definitely make um, a post-match video for from the derby. I'm so nervous. I We have to win that one. No, we have to not lose that one. If we draw, that's fine by me. I would love to win that one. But yeah, that's pretty much what I'm feeling. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.